Oh, they're going to go meet the other elephant. Look at that. Almost two, these two are going that side, and the other one's coming down. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. What a way to start the drive. I just love elephants. Ooh, it's a male. Well, I can say it's a male. You can just see how round his head is. You can see. Oh, oh, she's going to chase him. Oh, oh. Oh, my word. Yeah. She did not want him around. She did not. She did not want him around. Typical, so sometimes the, the females do get a little bit irritated with these young males. It's not a big male, it's not an old male, but they do get irritated with them. So we just made our way, just following them, yeah. Then you can see, actually the younger male has just moved off and now the female is allowing a little calf to suckle there and we've got this young male that's coming towards us now. Hey, my boy, yes, you're not wanted by that female. Maybe just... But that's what usually happens. Males tend to go on by themselves, get, get pushed out of the breeding herds. Oh, this one's coming straight towards us. Hey, Lou. <laughs> He's showing us his, uh, his uh, greens there. Here's my boy. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> the one just wants some milk. They actually kind of roll back their trunks, usually over the back of their head, or on their head, to go and suckle from uh, the teats. So elephants' teats, or the memory glands, they are pretty much uh, there between the front legs. Not like most mammals, it's all between the back uh, or the hind legs. The elephant's got the two teats between the front legs. Oh, you look at this big female coming here. Um, come. This is a beautiful girl coming this side, a big female elephant with her calf. Looks like it's all like a mom and baby day today. You know, they're taking their, 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 their youngsters out for, for, for lunch. That is interesting. <laughs> but she is stunning. She's got beautiful tusks on her. Aha, look what we have here, a little red-billed hornbill digging in a... Yes, that is an elephant dung. I thought this was quite cool to watch this little red-billed hornbill. I do love red-billed hornbills. They are rather cute. Um, he is, whoop, he just got something. He's digging around in this elephant dung. Possibly any seeds or any grubs that he might be able to find. Oh, if he found a little dung beetle grub, that would be delicious. If you zoom in a little bit, Pando, I just want to see his eyes. It's got really beautiful little eyes, this little hornbill. And of course you see the coloration. His feathers, black and white, and then he's got this ye piercing yellow eye with a little black dot in the middle. It's almost got a little bit of a mohawk on the top of his head as well. I love how these hornbills nest, so how they nest is they'll find a hole in an old tree. A marilla tree would be perfect if it had a hole, or uh, possibly a nice big terminalia or a jackalberry. And uh, they'll have in that hole, the chicks will be in there, while well, of course the female will be sitting on eggs in this little hole. And then when they have their chicks, they'll actually feed them through the slit in the tree. So when the chicks are hungry, these little red-billed hornbill chicks, I must say. I have had some experience with them and they make a lot of noise when they're small. They're always hungry no matter how much you feed them. They're constantly hungry. So they'll chirp away and chatter away waiting for their parents to bring them food. You can hear these elephants moving through the grass and feeding. You can hear their, their ears flapping on their skin. Hello little one. Hi. He's not sure about us. He 
He's very big and brave, don't you? Off you go to mom. Baby elephants. Baby zebra, baby impala, anything little and small is so cute. But these baby elephants are so adorable. Look, he's sniffing us. He's got a lot of attitude today. It's easy when you've got a nice big mom to protect you. Hey. You can hear the Egyptian geese calling in the background. So we also were told that there was a fish eagle, African fish eagle here. So while we're watching these elephants, I'm just going to have a scout. I don't see anything, but I just have a quick scan and see if we've got a fish eagle anywhere still hanging around. It looks like they're all busy break dancing now on the road. I think they're showing off to Panda. There's a panda can break dance and dance, so I think they decided to like, Panda, look, we can also do that. You're not the only one. Challenging you, Challenging you yes. <laughs> of course, all. Lama is just watching them. She's just, I, don't, I don't think she's too impressed with their dancing skills. <laughs> she's just still sitting up like a real lady. With one on her one paw and the other one, eh? A real lady. Look at that. Stomach's almost about to fall out there, you know, the stomach uh, and the contents of the stomach. As you can see, the lumbar is just holding onto it and there's the hyenas are one or two approaching the bottom of the tree now. So we're just going to wait to have this at the moment like this and we're going to see exactly what's going to play out here. Because that stomach does fall down to the ground. So so close. It's hanging on like a like a piece of I can say um, sinew. The, the stomach. Come on, Lama, let it go. Give 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 the hyenas the the opportunity to deserve something. She's snarling at them. Oh, yes, even the hyena went for it now. Mm, hyena's getting desperate to uh, June. June is getting desperate to get up into the tree. <laughs> well, of course, hyenas can't climb the tree. Let the, uh, just let the stomach go. Come on, Clumber. <laughs> 